Top three things uh, this morning in my notebook. Number one, China. Number two, copper. And number three, Europe. So China's been, uh, as you've been listening to the top three things this week, China gave us the breakout signal earlier in the week. Of course, Darius and I don't have inside information on China, but the locals did. So you get the data points this morning. The HSBC PMI number for China was the best number <clears throat> in 18 months. And that's a 52 versus the prior uh, sequential report of 50.7. New orders were 53.7, uh, which is an acceleration. So what you got was fall through in the Shanghai comp. Uh, it was up another 1.3%. As a friendly reminder, the trend breakout line in our model is 2051. It may or may not hold. We don't have to tell the market what to do. It'll tell us what to do. Uh, point number two is copper. Now, you could say that copper traded up on China. We wouldn't disagree with that. Uh, copper may have traded up just because it traded up, and we wouldn't disagree with that. Uh, but again, the signal uh, to buy copper was obviously earlier in the week, and you got that last week too. So again, copper uh, 317 is the breakout line from a trend perspective in the price of copper, uh, which is up 1.2% this morning to 324. And again, the supply position in copper is at an all-time high, which is maybe why you should like copper, because anybody who can read understands the short side of that view. So again, Consensus remains bearish on copper, and copper continues higher in as much as most things across the commodity complex do. Uh, if you look at the move yesterday, nickel, for example, again, nickel, a lot of nickel goes into a lot of stuff, uh, up 1.5% for the price of nickel yesterday, up 38% for the year to date. Fantastic move for nickel. I should have said it's copper and nickel. Uh, final thing would be uh, all of Europe. Uh, so if you look at Europe, Obviously, it's up again, but again, is it going to get above the trend lines, whether I look at the FTSE, the DAX, the CAC, uh, the, you know, whatever, the crap uh, that you have in Portugal, for example? That would be number one on our short list, would be Portugal. Number two would be Italy, and number three would be France. So in that order, that's what we're looking at. If they fail at the trend line, we're going to start the short Europe here. So that would be a new call, and again, I don't have to be wed to it. Uh, the only thing I'm wed to is my wife. Uh, looking uh, across the board, those are your top three things.